Good morning. It's Monday, once again. They seem to roll around every week or so. It's amazing. Good morning, Star. Well, we won't, uh, we won't delay long here this morning. We'll jump on here shortly and, and start. Um, had a baptism service yesterday. Um, we're going to have those periodically as the need arises. And so if you know anyone who wants to be baptized, or if you do yourself, um, just go on to our website or call the church office. Both of those ways are going to work for just about anything we have uh, to sign up for. And uh, as soon as we have a, a few people for uh, baptism, we'll have another service. So it was great yesterday. We had four scheduled and uh, a fifth one um, joined in. And so we had five folks baptized yesterday after church. And it was, a, it was just always, always a great, a great service, great time, a great, uh, a great thing to witness in our church. And so I invite you to stay around for the next one. If you're first service attender, uh, go have your brunch and, and uh, come back at 12.15 or 12.30 for the baptism next time we have one. So I would anticipate having one in two or three months, but uh, it'll just depend on the signups. And also for baby dedications, we're doing those just a little bit different as well. So uh, rather than do a bunch twice a year we're just doing them as uh, as uh, requested as necessary when people again sign up online or call the office um, we will contact them and and to schedule a, a Sunday and we will we will uh, dedicate babies throughout the year as needed so a um, couple things one other thing uh, to note for me especially and we are we are signing up, we are starting signups for the Honduras trip. We have not been, uh, we did not go last year due to COVID. And uh, so it's been this February, we're scheduled to go on the 18th. And uh, that will have been two years since I was last in Honduras with a team. And so uh, really looking forward to that. I've got 15 seats reserved and about half of those are taken on the airlines. And so um, it'll be a quick uh, a sign up. But if you or anyone else you know has been contemplating going, please have them contact me or again, go online or call the church office and sign up. Um, the news from there this time of year is when they have their graduation. So they have a graduation for, for those graduating from kindergarten and then also uh, middle school and then high school. And so we have three high school students, uh, three all female uh, this year. Um, we have uh, Hennessy, we have Deborah, and uh, we have uh, Bessie, and so those three, you must, some of you who have been before may remember uh, one or all of those, um, but they, are, they have made it to graduation, so it's a, a special time for them. Uh, they have quite a celebration over there uh, for graduation, and so make it as big a deal as they can uh, with their limited uh, funds, and, and uh, it's a special time for those, for those girls. So pray for them, Hennessy's, uh, Deborah and Bessie. Okay, so it's Monday, first Monday of December. It's the time when Christmas kind of smacks us in the face and says, I'm coming. Um, every year it seems, to, uh, it seems to build up steam as far as how fast it gets here. The older we get, the more uh, Christmases we have under our belt, the faster, the faster they approach. And uh, It's, uh, it's coming. It's really coming again this year. It's really going to happen. And uh, just as we know it's going to get here because of our experience, um, it's going to happen. That first Christmas was just as certain to happen, even though there was no, there was no uh, rec track record. There was no history of year after year. It was the first time, and yet, it was as certain to happen 
more certain to happen uh, than it is each year since. So at the center uh, of this whole Christmas story, at the heart of the message, at the very foundation, is probably the most well-known verse in all of Scripture, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves us. That's the, that's the basis of Christmas. That's the foundation of Jesus coming. Um, nothing was going to thwart God in his um, display of love for us and the hope that came along with that. Um, not Herod, uh, not the circumstances of the day, nothing was going to thwart that. The intricacy of God's plan is so amazing that if we study that period of time, all the different things that had to, to take place, and you've probably, like me, heard many teachings over the years uh, on this subject, and, and I've, I've got a couple recorded somewhere, probably on cassette tapes or something, but it's just some amazing teachings on what took place and what fell into place for this whole sequence that we read about to happen. It, it's truly amazing. Um, and yet more amazing is the fact that, that God loves us. And that's what I want to just encourage you this morning as we, as we hit the first full week of, of December. Um, Romans 8, Paul tells us that nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Let me read that to you. This is Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Notice, he says, nothing will be able to separate us. He starts talking about angels and principalities and powers, and we, we, are, so, we are so focused on the here and now. But there's a lot more at play in this world around us. The spiritual world is, is uh, every bit as real as the physical world that we see. And he talks about angels and principalities and powers and even death, none of which will separate us from the love of God. Yesterday in the first service we sang, How Great Thou Art. It says, O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. And when and people think about the other worlds, occasionally we, our mind uh, wonders about what could be out there and, and we know people chase and document and are concerned with UFOs and uh, the possibility of life on other planets and all, all, this, all this talk and this uh, interest is out there. And folks get worked up about the implications of what that could mean and how that plays. But Paul tells us in this same scripture that neither things present nor things to come nor any other created thing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Nothing. If there are, if there is life on other planets, it, whatever, it, it doesn't matter in the overall picture that nothing will separate us from the love of God. That should put our wandering minds at ease. Um, and that's what I really want to encourage you with today. There are so many things in this life that distract us. Um, God loves you, never forget that. Um, God loves you so much. One, one gentleman that got baptized yesterday, you know, told me he struggled so much with being able to forgive himself for the things he'd done, the way he lived his life. And uh, he's changed the way he lives his life, but he still has trouble uh, forgiving himself and feeling worthy of God's love. And yet, our worthiness has no bearing. God loves us regardless. Uh, tirelessly, relentlessly. 
But in this world around us, there is craziness. And not only craziness in this season, uh, it seems to get worse every year as the materialistic culture we live in um, targets us um, as consumers. Um, and then with all the delays in product this year and all those things, there just there's so much craziness. Um, and then all the craziness of, of the current events. And it really does seem that the craziness is meant to keep us from dwelling on the love of God. And I just want to encourage you to refocus. Refocus back on the reason. The whole reason for this season is that God loves you. And we are his representatives in the world. And with his love comes peace and joy. And it's easy in our culture, in our season, uh, to forfeit these crucial gifts of joy and peace uh, by dwelling on all the clutter in our culture. Love always wins. Love always triumphs. Love is how others will know that we're his followers. Our culture seems to pit us against one another. Our culture uh, seems to make us not feel very loving sometimes. Um, it puts man at odds with other men, uh, woman at odds with other women, and across genders, obviously. So this Christmas season, um, may we focus on God's unending, relentless love for us that Christmas was going to happen no matter what. And may we truly love others on his behalf as we relentlessly seek those that are lost and hurting in our world and present them with the greatest gift of all kind, the greatest gift of all time, the greatest gift that we could ever give them. And that is the love of God that's in us and found in Jesus Christ. May that be our focus this Christmas season and all seasons of the year. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Let me let me close in prayer. Father, we are so grateful that you love us, that you would not stop, that there would not be uh, an alteration to your plan, Lord, that you loved us so persistently, so relentlessly, that you are going to come and make a way for us to be with you. We're so grateful for that, Lord. May that overshadow everything we say and do and hear and think, and, and uh, may that be the really the visible part of our lives, your love in us, our love for others because of your love in us. So fill us, Lord, again with your love, with your Holy Spirit that brings uh, that love and that peace and that joy, Lord. And may we be, uh, may we wrap it up in a bow and share it uh, this season, Lord, uh, boldly and openly and loudly uh, that the world might know that we're your disciples and that uh, you want them uh, to spend eternity with you as well. So we love you, Lord. Be with our church family. And to you be the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, church. Have a great week.